this foot we're going to use an indirect gluing method. Uh, we're going to use a Sigafoos shoe that we made. We shaped up for him and we put a, a hospital plate on the bottom of it. He has some uh, chronic infections on this medial heel. A Sigafoos shoe has an aluminum shoe with a, with a fiberglass cuff attached to it. And we're going to use that cuff to glue, glue on to, to glue the shoe to the foot. That cuff will allow his heels to expand and contract a little bit on this foot. He's really contracted on this heel. He's got a really contracted inside heel. So th this foot I didn't really want to lock him in with a direct glue shoe. We're going to use an indirect gluing shoe system just to give those heels a little more flexibility. This horse had some, you see he had some medication here. He has a really bad bruising and infection on this inside heel. You see how sore he is. He just jumps when I touch it. So we're going to make a shoe up with a, with a treatment plate and glue this shoe on here. So I'll show you. We'll, we'll clean the foot up and we'll get the shoe made up for it. Here's the shoe we're going to Equilox on and here's the uh, treatment plate. This gets bolted on there. I'm going to remove the treatment plate for the gluing process and we're going to just put some tape over these uh, screw holes because the last thing you want is to get Equilox in those holes um, while you're gluing the shoe on. That really clogs up the holes and it's really hard to get it out of there once it sets up obviously so We'll put a little bit of duct tape over these holes on the ground surface as well. We'll just cover it with some duct tape and then we'll, we'll prepare the foot and glue this on. We're really just uh, using the Equilox on the outer surface of the foot. So we're just going to clean up the outer surface of the foot. We really don't need to do so much on the bottom, like along the angle of the bars and on the sole surface of the foot. Um, it just gets adhered to the outer, the outer hoof wall. So we'll just clean that up with a sander. Clean up the adder. Just clean up his wall a little better here. A little better shape to it. Alright. You see that shoe there. Okay, so basically we're gonna glue this shoe on, glue this cuff just to the outer surface of the foot. And it'll be a little different technique than what we saw on the uh, direct gluing method. Okay, what we'll do on this, since we're gonna be putting a lot of glue on the exterior surface of the hoof wall. We're going to wrap the coronary band up first so we don't get any glue on the hair and on the coronary band. I use some any kind of tape. I use some vet wrap here. I'll roll it up until I just see the hair and then I'll take some uh, just some white adhesive tape. And just, just enough to cover up the hairline and the coronary band. That makes it a lot neater and nicer. Pull this tape off and you'll have no, no glue on the hairline. Again, we're using a two ounce jar of Equilox. And uh, we're not gonna mix fiber in this one like we did on the last one. We're just gonna use the Equilox straight. And then uh, she'll mix it up and then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, impregnate this fiberglass cuff with the glue, just smeared in there really good. And I'll put some on the wall and then we'll uh, wrap it on with some plastic wrap. So she'll mix up the glue here. The good thing about these indirect gluing methods is that you can uh, wrap the foot up with plastic and you can set the foot on the ground and the, and the glue can cure on the ground while the horse is bearing weight. You don't have to hold it up the whole time. So it makes it a little easier for sore, sore footed horses that don't want to stand on one foot too long. I'd get, I'd get the glue good and mixed up, make sure all the, the hardener is evenly distributed throughout the glue. I think a lot of some, a lot of guys that don't have luck keeping glue on shoes on, I think a lot, some of them just don't mix the glue thoroughly enough. They mix it around a few times and slap it on the shoe. And so I think it's real important to get that glue mixed thoroughly. And also the technique of gluing it on. There's, putting the glue on the cuff. I'll go on and take some and I'll put it on the hoof wall. I'll just smear it on the hoof wall here. Just on the whole surface, outer surface of the hoof wall. I 
I usually wait. I'm not in a big rush to get this on the foot. I wait for the glue to get a little tacky to begin setting up. When it gets a little tacky, then I'll, then I'll put it on the foot. It gives it a much nicer shine and overall finish. I wait till the glue starts changing color, get a little greener look to it. It gets a little, a little more tacky and stiff. And that's about when I'd take it and try to go and glue the shoe on then. Just once the glue is tacky, we'll go and place the shoe on the foot. And I'll just, I'll just mold that cuff up onto the wall. Get it nice and flat and smooth. Really glue nice and smooth. I'll take my gloves off. I'll take some just some packaging wrap. We'll wrap the sh shoe in place. It's real important to try to do this without moving the shoe. Once you got it set where you want it, you can really hold it in the heel and stretch out the wrap. Do it nice and smooth. It seems to make it look better when you're done. strong and not going to move, you can go out and place this foot on the ground. The good thing is it can cure on the ground, you don't have to hold it up the whole time. I'll take the handle of the, my plastic wrap and just smooth out that cuff. Nice and smooth. Yeah, just work that. Just like a, like a rolling pin, just kind of get it all rolled nice and Flat and smooth. You want to really start the corner and then push down, push the glue down towards the bottom of the cuff. You don't want to push it up and end up with the glue coming out the top of your wrap. So you want to kind of work the glue down towards the ground surface. So I'm standing there for about five minutes or so until the glue sets up. Cut the wrap off and see what it looks like. Some of that glue that got under the tape. Yeah, there you go. It's fairly. Yeah, the Eclox works great for that as well. This is called indirect gluing. You can just have the cuff glued to the foot uh, via the Eclox. It makes a nice shiny finish, nice and smooth. And the key to having it look nice and smooth is letting that glue set up a little bit on the cuff and on the foot before you go to wrap it. If it's, uh, if it's really cold or hasn't begun to set up yet, uh, when you go to wrap it up, it'll just kind of be real liquidy and the glue will really push through that mesh and you'll have little fiberglass areas showing through the glue. Um, you'll have some fraying on the edges. If you let it set up first and then wrap it, you get this nice, you know, fairly clean, tight, shiny finish to it. So that's just the other method we use. These are two different glue-on shoe systems. We have a direct glue shoe on the right and an indirect glue on the left.